Hey everyone, so very exciting video here. We have an unboxing of the Sony Xperia XA1. So if this phone you're getting X1 cameras both front and rear at a budget price. And a quick look at the box, you see Xperia and Sony there. Look at the bottom, Xperia XA1. Look at the side. Look at the other side and then the top is just white at the top. Just want to cover up some of the information there. And yeah, so very, um, very typical Sony box, simplistic, but nice looking. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, so right on top, we have the Sony Xperia XA1. And we'll be looking at this in a minute. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, see what else we got in the box. Oh, and right here, this is the Sony Xperia XA. Uh, so last year's model, we're going to be doing comparison. All right, looks like we got some guides here. And we, these are headphones. Yes, yeah, so got some headphones there. Let's take a quick look at them. All right, so pretty typical Sony headphones. Uh, do look nice. All right, let's check out some more. So yeah, guys, this phone, only a few hundred dollars. Um, I really love the design, the Xperia XA. Uh, one of my favorite designs for Sony phone. Got that edge edge screen display, and as you see, it's back for the XA1. All right, so what else we got here? Got the wall adapter, and of course that will will change depending on the region. And we got a uh, USB Type C cable. So yeah, this phone does a USB C. Uh, last year's model was micro USB. And then another wall adapter. So power charger. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the phone. See, I think pretty good unboxing there, even with the XA, uh, rather the Sony Xperia XCS. I did not get, uh, not get headphones for that. All right, so this actually looks like it's in a little pouch here. And I believe this should come off. Yep. And this as well. So you have dual SIM card phone. And the back. So again, we got another sticker. Yeah, Sony will unique day tell you instructions on the stickers here all right so here we go um yeah material so it's a little bit more slippery i guess than the sony xperia xa um a little bit different material feeling but obviously in terms of looks very very similar now you guys can tell the rear facing camera it's larger that's because it is a better camera uh 23 megapixels 23 megapixels versus 13 on last year's model yeah, aside from that, very similar looking. I actually think the XA1 might be a little bit bigger. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, if it is, it's like a fraction, fraction of a centimeter. And looks like last year they had uh, metal on the sides here, but I think this year they changed the plastic. Um, I think it kind of like last year's look a little bit more. Although still very nice looking, and I think it's just personal preference, but we know what you think in the comments. So look at the bottom of the phone, you see on the XA1 you got USB-C, and last year's model, the XA, you got micro USB. Look at the side, uh, neither of these phones have fingerprint scanners, unfortunately, both have power buttons. Look at the top, so headphone jacks there. And the other side.
So yeah, here's another book at the size difference between the two. And let me just stack the XA on top of the XA1. Show you guys a better angle of that. So yeah, XA1 definitely a tiny bit bigger, but not a huge difference. Now, something I am noticing is that on the XA1, uh, it's a little bit more rectangle shape, so sharper edges. On last year's XA, uh, a little bit more circular, as you guys can see there. So personally, I think that the XA, uh, the original XA is more comfortable to hold. But it's still obviously a beautifully designed phone. Alright, so let's go ahead and power this on. Front facing camera on both phones is 8 megapixels. Alright guys, so just got the XA1 set up. Uh, let's do a very quick boot up test between the XA and the XA1. And we'll have a full uh, comparison of the channel later, but for now, just a quick speed test. Now, on the XA1, you are getting the MediaTek Helio P20 processor and 3GB of RAM. The XA has the MediaTek P10 processor and 2GB of RAM. So, you should definitely see uh, performance improvements with the XA1. All right, it looks like the XA1 moaning up right now. And let me show you guys interface and now the XA is up as well. All right, so with the XA1, they do have similar design here to the Sony Xperia XES, a similar home screen. And let me put both these phones on maximum brightness. All right, so I haven't downloaded any apps or anything, we'll be doing that. Um, but just a very quick look at the interface. And the app drawer. So you guys, first impressions, I think the XA1 feels pretty snappy. Um, I do like a lot of the specs on it. Um, I will say that I think the only thing that's a little bit of a downgrade is in terms of the design. Uh, the XA is definitely more comfortable to hold than the XA1. Not to say it's uncomfortable, it's just that the XA did a really incredible job at this. With the XA1, I'd say a little bit more average in terms of comfort, but obviously still a very small phone um, and very minimal bezels, especially on the sides. In terms of more of the specs, so both these phones, 5-inch screen, 720p. Rear-facing camera on the XA is 13 megapixels, 23 in the XA1. Front facing camera on both is 8. Um, in terms of internal storage, so huge upgrade here. Uh, 32 gigabytes for the XA1. Now that's not much, but it's a whole lot better than the XA, which was only 16. Both phones do have micro SD card support. MediaTek Helio P10 processor and 2GB of RAM for the XA. MediaTek P20 processor and 3GB of RAM for the XA1. And neither phone is waterproof. Um, neither has fingerprint scanner. And again on the bottom for the Xperia XA, you have micro USB. And on the XA1, you have USB-C. Alright guys, so let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm very excited to use this phone. We'll be doing a lot of speed test comparisons. Please subscribe for more videos like this in the future, including camera tests, speed tests, and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.